Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Man, this is the ramble. We go until midnight, to, and I, I am pooped. I don't know what it is. It's a fucking drug I'm taking. Uh, it just makes me loopy and clumsy and everything. And I'm only I'm taking the lowest possible dose you can take. I think I have a um, a very high sensitivity to to drugs of any sort, uh, and uh, so even uh, the smallest amount. Uh, I was taking a thing called amitriptyline originally for this numb feet thing, and uh, I they were giving me the lowest dose possible, and it was turning me into an animal. I was just it was just terrible the effect it was having on me, and the doctor was even amazed that it affected me that much. He said, "I had you on the smallest dose possible." He said, "I don't care." I said, "I you know I don't know what it is with me, but man, my metabolism is all fucked." So now they've got me on this thing called gabapentin. And they've got me on, they put me on a dose of, uh, I can take three of them a, a night of 100 milligrams each. Uh, but 300 is about what it takes to make the numb feet feel a hell of a lot better. But all I'm taking is one because I take more than one. One is enough. I wake up and I've been loopy all day. So, you know. So I don't know. I really, I find it hard to get through this show. Uh, and uh, tonight it's even harder because uh, girlfriend isn't going to be here. Uh, because last week, last week she got mad at me because I, uh, I talked about a certain uh, condition she had, and uh, uh, you know when I do stuff on the air, I do it for laughs. You know, I, I always have told her, no matter what I say about you on the air, do not take it seriously because I really don't mean it. Uh, you know, it's for for effect, it's for laughs, and you know, uh, and uh, she went, oh, uh, uh, and she didn't feel good about it, so I told her I didn't want her to come back on again do the show with me so tonight she planned on not doing the show but uh, she'll probably be back again well she won't be back again next week because next week is thanksgiving uh weekend and we're taking uh thursday and friday off the whole network's taking thursday and friday off we'll have some thanksgiving programming playing here in place of everything else and we hope that you enjoy it and you know it's good for you so uh let me see here so I, I don't have anything to really talk about. That's my problem. I mean, I really wish I did. I, you know, I mean, uh, uh, to talk about Trump. Okay, let me talk about this for a second. To talk about Trump is getting to be uh, the gift that does not keep on giving. I, uh, I, I watch these shows on like MSNBC, and one show is just like the next show is just like the next show is just like the next show. And the shows are very much very similar to each other because they're all talking about the same thing. Uh, nobody's coming on and saying, hey, I got something different I want to talk to you about today. You know? No. It's just whatever the, uh, the gripe du jour is against Trump. And uh, I, uh, you know, I hate Trump. I can't stand the man. I think the man is just, he's made a mockery out of the presidency. Literally. He's made it the laughing stock of the world, all right? Uh, and he's constantly on a sales job of himself. Uh, he, he's not mentally fit to be president of the United States, all right? So that being the case, I've said all those things. But it's, I still am getting awfully tired of having to sit here and, and blast him every night because while he is terrible and he is horrible, uh, he isn't worthy of that much conversation. Uh, and yet he holds sway over uh, the lot of our lives and, and how our lives are and how well we are and how well we live. Don't worry, folks, I'm, 
I'm doing some work here while I'm talking to you, okay? Uh, anyway, uh, uh, so, I, I, you know, I, I, it's hard for me not to talk about them. On the other hand, I'd rather not. Um, it seems to be that since he became president, the main topic of this program and every other news program has been Donald Trump because he has learned how to monopolize the conversation. I mean, I can't remember ever talking this much about Obama. You know, Obama would do something, I would uh, talk about it, and then we'd get on to other stuff. But it, it wasn't, he wasn't, he didn't monopolize the national conversation the way that Trump does. And Trump wants to monopolize the conversation because he wants people to know who Donald Trump is and to talk about a Donald Trump and to salve his ego. That's why I've kept saying if these news networks really wanted to get even with him, they wouldn't file suit against him. What they do is they just stop talking about him. What, Alex? Don't talk about the president? Well, then you're not talking about the news. No, you can talk about the president when he does something worthy of talking about. But when it's just the latest tweet that he put out today and then sitting around and making fun of that tweet for the next 24-7, uh, is, is not, it's not a, you know, it's just not, not worth it. What you should do is they should boycott the president. They should say, we're not going to report anything about you unless you do something worthwhile. And they don't do that. They have a codependent relationship with the presidency. But if I were CNN with all that he's done to CNN and so on, I'd say, fuck you, we're not going to talk about you. There's a lot of other news in the world to report. There's a lot of other things to report. Uh, but, you know, he goes out he's, he, he goes out to Iowa to do a, 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 a rally to get somebody elected, and the press just travels right after him and is there with the cameras to report it. Why? Just ignore him. It will drive him fucking crazy because he's an egomaniacal asshole. But no, we don't do that. No, we're not going to do that. Oh, we can't do that because, you know, Fox will report him and then we're, you know, well, look, Fox is going to report him no matter what. And by the way, Fox seems to be giving up on him too. The latest being this whole thing with Jim Acosta and the suit that, uh, uh, CNN filed against the presidency and against the president, against Sarah Huckabee Sanders, against a, a, a Secret Service agent who it, it was involved, uh, and uh, uh, all the ones who were involved in pulling his press credentials are being sued by CNN. And they have been joined in that suit by Fox, who says, you know, we can't let this happen because it threatens us to, you know? And uh, we want to be able to be just as free to say what we want to say about the president as, as you guys want to be. Maybe we're not going to say the same things. Maybe we're going to be kinder to him. But we don't like the idea that anybody is be having his press privileges held back. And so Fox has now taken really what is unprecedented for Fox, the view that, fuck you, uh, Trump. This is not right, and we're going to be a party to this suit. So... And they seem to be getting a little more huh, moving towards the center. Uh, I mean, they're, they're chastising Hannity for having appeared at a uh, Trump rally. Uh, and uh, it's, it's, not, it's not getting, you know, it, 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 Fox is not, there, not as much his friend any longer. So, you know. But what I'm saying is just ignore him. Just ignore him. He does something. You report it. Now, I've got something to report. I've got something good to say about our president. What, Alex? Yes, you know, that old clock that's broken is right twice a day. And so be it with Trump, who is wrong most of the time. But in this particular case, he's, he's right, and he's doing something that I can support, and that's prison reform. You know, for years, people have been going to jail for some of the most ridiculous reasons. I mean, drugs being one of them. Marijuana is an example. Some people are, are in prison for 10-year terms for, for having either sold marijuana or been found with marijuana or whatever. And that's, that's pretty light sentencing compared to what it used to be. But there are people who are there on drug offenses. And drug offenses really, to me, 
uh, are um, a medical problem. I had this, uh, I was supposed to go for, I went for jury duty. And, uh, you know, you sit there in this room all day long, like it's a, you know, you should bring knitting with you if you ever, if you ever go to do jury duty. You sit there reading uh, old magazines and doing whatever. And I don't, I don't know if they allow you to bring an iPad. They may or they may not. But anyway, uh, and I, then they, you wait until they say, well, we have a trial. We want you to be a vaudeur, vaudeur, what's the word, vaudeur, uh, it's it's what it is is they they take you into the into the room and the ju the judge asks you some questions and the defense attorneys ask you some questions and the prosecution asks you some questions to see if you're able to be on this jury if they want to seat you on this jury for jury I, I am trying to remember the, how how the word is pronounced and uh, I uh, 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 when it came to me. The, the, the guy who was on trial was a guy who was on trial for selling drugs. I don't know which drugs. I can't remember now. And uh, they said, hey, if you feel like you can't sit on this jury, and I raised my hand. And the judge said, why? I said, because I don't think drugs should be illegal. I don't think they should be a crime, either selling them or using them. And he said, why? And I said, because I consider drugs to be a medical problem, not a criminal problem. He said, next. In other words, this judge didn't want anybody on the jury who was going to look upon drugs as, uh, as, as, a, uh, as a medical problem, uh, which kind of then stacks the jury against this guy. Shouldn't I be there just like anybody else? Well, thank God, though, I was not paneled on the jury, and I was sent home, and I didn't, I got my little thing, and I didn't have to serve jury duty for another five years, and then I was too old to serve on it at all anyway, so. That's the one good thing about being uh, 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 78. When you hit 75, you don't have to do jury duty anymore. Oh, but it's your civic duty, Alex. No, it's not. The whole system is rigged against the poor. The whole system, I believe it, Believe me, I know that it's rigged against the poor because I'm in the middle of a, of a, of a, uh, of a uh, uh, legal action that's going on, been going on for six years. So far, it has cost girlfriend and myself uh, $55,000. And it's nowhere near being solved. All right? In fact, today, uh, our attorney was supposed to meet and have a meeting it was set up for today uh for mediation and i've heard nothing from him which makes me think like all the other times it's been called off now you know i mean we have ways of laying our hands on this money we know how to rob banks uh but uh uh you know through loans and things like that we've been able to pay for it so i know what it costs to just in a in a in a kind of a, a, an action like this one, that if we didn't have this money, we'd be out on the street. And it was snowing yesterday, real bad here. We would be out on the street. Uh, so people who are poor, if they are charged with a crime, are more than likely to cop a plea because they can't afford to do anything else. And mo uh, many a time, they're not guilty of anything. But their lawyer would say they're because all they can get is one of those uh, you know pro bono lawyers will say well just cop a play and we'll you know get you out of here and you only have to spend six months in jail but I didn't do it doesn't matter you do you this way you know you can't afford to in other words if you don't have the money I don't care if they give you a pro bono lawyer I'm sorry he, he's he's just not gonna work that hard uh, you'd like to think he would and you'd like to think there was something in it for him, but no, there's not. So anyway, the, the, the point in all of this is that um, if you can't afford uh, the proper representation, you're going to jail. You know, are you going to cop a plea that's going to then give you a record? Uh, and maybe he didn't do anything. But, hey, you know, you don't have the money or the wherewithal to fight it. 
So, you know, I know through this thing that we have going just what it costs to stay in this apartment, okay? If we didn't have that money, we'd be, we would have been long gone out of this place because we wouldn't have been able to afford it. Uh, you know, we haven't paid rent here in about five and a half years, which is fine because if you then figure we also have paid $55,000, think that comes to about uh, $10,000 a year. Okay, comes roughly to about nine hundred to a thousand dollars a month. So that effectively is our rent. But you know, thank God we were able to find a way to pay for it. Uh, because if we didn't, you know, we couldn't afford it. And so I think about all these people in prison who are there not so much because they were horrible criminals, but because they couldn't afford the proper representation to get them off the hook. Um, I had a friend who got in jail on, um, spent a year in prison, uh, for drugs. And, uh, this person, um, went because they really couldn't afford, uh, the kind of legal representation that could have maybe gotten them out of it. Now I have a friend his name is Fred Reamer. He's my lawyer in California. And Fred, uh, the great guy, um, knew this person and said, gee, I wish that person had gotten a hold of me because he, and he's a main big drug lawyer out in California. He said, because I, you know, this is the kind of case I could have gotten this person off and, you know, without anything. But you see, it's a question of the representation. And it's a question of, of how much you can afford to stay out of jail. And uh, if you don't have the money. So the fact that the president has, wants to do prison reform, uh, I, 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 I hail him for that and say, you know, the stop, uh, the broken clock is right twice a day. So congratulations. I'm glad the, uh, the hour came up when it was stopped uh, on uh, stopping the way we run our prisons now and uh, more prison reform. We have far too many people in jail. Uh, they shouldn't be there. Many of them are there for drug offenses, which, as I say, are really, uh, med it's a medical problem. Uh, and, uh, you know, the real dangerous criminals, yeah, sure, people who murder people, people who uh, rob people and, and hurt them in the process, uh, you know, shouldn't be, it sh should be in jail. Uh, people who do uh, white-collar crimes, eh, I don't know, people who, who steal from, from corporations or steal from other people, uh, slightly different crime, nonviolent crimes. I think what we want to do is get everybody out of prison who's been accused basically and is in there for a nonviolent crime. Because all we do when we send people to prison is what we're doing is we're sending them to uh, a school, a crime school, in which they learn to be criminals. You know, you take a kid who's, let's say, 19, and he gets busted for selling some weed, and they send him to prison. Well, now he's in prison. To begin with, he's somebody's bitch once he goes to prison, if he's young enough and good-looking enough. And on top of that, he's going to learn everything he needs to know about being a no-good Nick. This, it's like a school in there. And many kids come out, full-blown criminals when, when they went in being complete innocents, all right? And so I, I laud the president for what he's trying to do with, uh, with uh, uh, prison reform. And he is joined by the Democrats in this, and he is joined by the Republicans in it. So this is kind of a no-brainer when it comes to getting it done, because over the years, especially where drugs were concerned, we got way too... Uh, uh, assiduous. Uh, what's, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, to, uh, well, anyway, we were prosecuting just a little too much and a little too heavy. And, you know, we, we would give judges things like uh, uh, mandatory sentences so that a judge, if he met up with a young kid and he, the kid was just a kid who had problems and he was selling some weed and the judge would like to say, okay, well, listen, I'm going to let you uh, go, but you've got to be on probation and blah, 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 but I don't want to send you to prison. Judges don't have that authority anymore. 
there are things called mandatory sentences. And where these drugs were concerned, they made these mandatory sentences ridiculous. And then there's the three strikes and you're out. That's if you commit a crime three times or a crime of felony three times, you wind up in prison for the rest of your life. And there was one guy, I remember years ago, who was broke. And he saw some coins on the dashboard of a car, so he broke the glass window of the car and went in and stole up 25 cents in change and was arrested. And because that was his third strike, he wound up spending the rest of his life in jail for 25 cents. So that kind of thing has to come to an end, and that's what I think uh, uh, Trump is trying to do with the proposed bill to, uh, to do away with this kind of uh, stuff that's going on in prisons. Anyway, boy, I'm tired tonight. I hope people call and they talk a lot and I can just sit here and listen and struggle until midnight comes along and I can wrap this whole thing up and go to sleep. Uh, I, I really, I, I don't even know if I want to take one of those pills tonight. I think I'm just, I think I could go just go to sleep without them. So we'll see. Anyway, I don't know. That's the trouble. The trouble is you get older, they just give you drugs. By the way, there's a show uh, on Netflix. We just watched uh, all eight episodes at one time. They're short. They're about 25 minutes each, 20 to 25, 20, 20 to 30 minutes each. And it's Michael Douglas and Alan Arkin, and the name of the program is The Kaminsky Method. And uh, it is produced by Chuck Bloor, who's known for things like Two and a Half Men, Big Bang Theory, Mike and Molly, Mom, uh, uh, Young Sheldon. Uh, and he produced and wrote this show. And it doesn't have a laugh track, doesn't have a live studio audience, what they call a single camera show. And I loved it. And so did Girlfriend. We just thought it was, we expected the worst and we got the best. Uh, and, and the two of them, Alan Arkin and, and Michael Douglas, together are just fantastic. And you know what it's about? It's about two old guys and getting old and the problems of getting old. Uh, and uh, and, and it's, it's a comedy. Uh, maybe a few too many prostate jokes, but uh, it's a comedy. And... I just, you know, I don't know what the reaction's going to be to it. Uh, the reviews are okay, all right? They get better and better. They're up around 80% on Rotten Tomatoes. They started way, way low, and they've gotten better and better and better as people have seen it. But I think the reviewers are too young to truly appreciate the humor in it. And it's a very special show. And, uh, you know, my ex-wife Ronnie has a thing called timegoesby.net, in which she, uh, the subtitle of her site is what it's like to get old. And in this case, uh, this, is, this could be a companion piece to that on the guy's side about what it's like to get old. Uh, and I think it's just an excellent show. And at no point did I feel it was pandering towards old people or making fun of people being old, but it was making fun of those problems we face as we age. And... Um, I think if you watch it, you'll really, I, I highly recommend it, all right? The Kaminsky Method, it's called. It's on Netflix. It started to today. You could sit there and we watch every episode, there are eight of them, and be finished in two and a half hours, okay? So it's about a little over the length of a movie. It's probably shorter than an Avengers movie if you play them end to end, and I think you'll really enjoy it, and some just absolutely tour de force performances on, uh, it's the best thing I've ever seen Michael Douglas do. And Alan Arkin is always superb, always superb. Well, let me open up the lines here, see if anybody wants to talk and take the strain off of me. See, I can talk for a half hour. I hope I wasn't too boring. If I was, you know, get on that and rotate. Um, Anyway, our uh, lines are open. Uh, no Skype. I don't want to upgrade the program. Uh, I keep using uh, Skype 7, 
because it looks better on the show and it's easier to use and it doesn't present me with the problems that Skype 8 would present me with. And so they constantly, every time I turn it on or I just do something with it, like just turned on the, the Skype line, the thing comes up saying, hey, do you, you know, why don't you upgrade to the newest version? And then, of course, here on the screen, if you look, See, they got this thing. It says, this version of Skype will be discontinued soon. To continue using Skype in the future, update to the latest version today. Well, uh, over my dead body. Okay, there we go. Okay. But uh, that's, uh, that's, for, that's for you. That's, oh, here comes Jeff Stein. Mm. First, one, uh, first one out of the, uh, out of the box. Hello, Jeff. Oh, I am. Yeah. yeah. Now that you're looking for old guys. Yeah. You got to. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you. You should. Uh, you should watch this show on uh, Netflix. It's called the Kaminsky I'm Method. I'm gonna look for that. Yeah. It's really good. You'll love it. You'll love it. Good actors, of course. Good actors, but I mean, just the whole the whole thing. I just said I, I could sit there and relate to every inch of it. You know. <clears throat> uh, uh, some some very funny jokes. I mean, it it just really just a. Just a really good show without pandering, without make it doesn't make fun of old people, it makes fun of being old, you know. And uh, there's a lot to well, I don't know if there's a lot to laugh at at getting old. Uh, trying to figure that one out, I'm still trying to answer that question to myself. Um, well, I, th I think you gotta, uh, you gotta laugh at yourself a little. Oh, I laugh at myself, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm waiting. Uh, there was a, a, a commercial on television where uh, an uh, older woman uh, can't find her keys and her husband finds them in the refrigerator. A and, uh, I, and they said, that said, this could be the first sign of Alzheimer's. So I'm waiting for the day when I find my keys in the refrigerator. I've just had that great fear, you know. Uh, I like... Of course, there are common things like your glasses. Mm -hmm. How many times a day do you lose your glasses? Seventy-two times. And Seventy-two a day. times a day, right? Right. You know. Oh, and, and sometimes they're right here. You know, and you yeah. can't find them. Where are they? I can't find them. You know. So. My cell phone is always missing, but my young wife, I have to find her cell phone. Yeah, but you know what I do with my with my cell phone. See, I got the I, I, I got the watch, and I just go boom, and then I hit this, and <coughs> oh wait, a minute, you, you didn't hear it because you just coughed. But wait, yeah, let me get let me get the uh, cell phone here, and I just yeah. do this. So that's how I can find my that's how I can find my cell, which is uh, and believe me, it's helped. It's helped. Usually I'll do that, and all of a sudden I'll hear the ringing in my pocket. You know, things like that they make you feel real stupid. You know, so I don't know. So uh, let's see, where's Phil tonight? I think Phil's supposed to be back by now. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Just maybe it'll just be you and me for the rest of the show. Well, that's the way it could go. Mm-hmm. It was pretty busy last night. Huh? Very busy last night. Yeah. Uh, here comes here comes Phil. Uh, you, you speak, you know, it's like Beetlejuice. You say his name three, three times, and uh, he appears. Hello there. Hi. Phil. I didn't hear you saying anything about uh, appearing until just just the second. Uh, no. Hey. I, well, I didn't say Phil Meyer three times. Oh, well, that was uh. the second time. <laughs> <All right. laughs> the, the curse of Gabnet. Yeah, the curse of Gabnet. Well, you know, we had two nights without you, which was uh, we had some fun shows. We didn't have, we didn't talk much about Trump, did we, Jeff? Not at all. No, I mean maybe a little bit, but not too much. Yeah, it was a different kind of show. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was uh, it was a pleasure not being there. <laughs> 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 it's a, Phil, it's very beneficial to have you not show once in a while. <laughs> yeah, uh, hey, that's why I announce it. I, you know, I, 
Right. I actually, I like the people that don't like me. And, uh, you know, I want them to uh, participate. And I want to, you know, I don't want them to feel uh, that they're stunted by uh, my presence. So I, I let you know who, everyone you know. Who I'm not be you know who always calls when you're not here? Tom uh, Yamaguchi. Yes, uh, you're uh, in Berkeley. What's his Tom name? Uh, Tom Yamaguchi. Yeah. I, I don't think that he's um, of, adverse to... Other opinions, but yeah, you know, you never know. Maybe he just doesn't like to hear uh, someone disagree with him. You know, I mean, you I'll know, tell you about Tom. He's, he's a gentle I'll soul, and Tom. he yeah, just you know, may not have it. That's exactly you put it exactly where where it is. Yeah. He's a very gentle soul. He's a very right. decent person, and yeah. he just doesn't like mom, dad. Don't argue. <laughs> yeah. Know? Hey, I, I I like him. I enjoy when he, when he's on. And, uh, you know, the last thing, I, I, I really don't want to make anyone feel... He is, in uh, fact, the polar opposite of you. In, yeah. in that he comes on, he says things occasionally. He doesn't turn his mic on to stun, you know. Uh, <laughs> is, is mine on stun? Uh, well, you know, you, you have a, a good mic and you have it on full blast. And, uh, you know, uh, it will overpower anybody else who's got, like, you know, the... There, uh, a microphone in the camera, like well, like Patrick. Hello, Patrick. Hi. See, you can hear the difference in the sound quality. Yeah. You know, because he there's a room ambience you can hear that. that yeah. Is there. Well, one of these days, I, I, you know, uh, I got to if I'm feeling very generous, I need to send Patrick a microphone. <laughs> I hope he'll use it. Well, you know, you can you can buy them pretty cheap. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You know, um, in fact, uh, I was I was looking for a way to do you know to port uh, um, audio through a USB input because I was thinking about one of these new Mac mini Mac minis that don't yeah. have an audio input, and I found one and it it it's fifteen dollars, and it has RCA yeah. inputs into it and it has a yeah and then Motorola inputs. outs has a no not Motorola outs it has RCAs in and that, I don't know why you're calling a Wait pin a, a Motorola there's no such thing as a Motorola jack okay uh, Wait a minute. I can't no what you're something. thinking of are RCA No RCA are short RCAs are short Yeah uh, yeah here I can't get the damn thing over there what? Um that's What's that? That's that, that's an old that's like goes back to when I started in the business. That's a microphone jack. It's called a mic jack. No, no, it's a Motorola. No, it's not. Plug. It's called a mic jack. Is what it's <laughs> called. Believe me, I'm in the business, Phil. I know what they're you called. You got RCA is the short little fuckers, <laughs> and then you got the Motorola, which is the longer one. No, the longer one are the ones that have been here even bef when I first got into this business. Those were the were the were the mics then, and there wasn't even a company called Motorola at the time. All right, wait a minute. That's when you were. Hey, a I, what is a Motorola jack? My web search turned something up for what is a Motorola jack. Ah, uh, you see, Jackson. you see, you <laughs> Motorola. See? Oh, here, have two-way communications. Yeah, wait a minute. Uh, no, Jackson.com. No, you, no you, you're, you, you, there's no such thing as a Motorola jack, okay? Yeah, and the right. RCA jacks are the ones like uh, you, you had in the back of your they're, VCRs, you know, the little blunt ones. Yeah, they're ones short, that, yeah. and they have a little uh, shield yeah. around it, a, a, neg a negative, and the positive is separated. With those, we would hope. you have, yeah, you have uh, multiple connections in the same stock. No, those are not multiple connections. What that is is well, what you, a positive what you negative have there. Account. What you have there is a, a stereo plug. Is what a you mono have. pin, isn't it? A mono yeah. pin. What, what, you're well, it depends about on the size. Pin. Let me see here if I can pull this out. This is what you're talking about here. Yes, that right? is what I'm talking. That about. is yeah. that is a microphone jack. Okay. Uh, I, okay, it, it I have microphone jacks. It's called a microphone jack, and Do some of them, my box of some of them, like that one, was a mono. And then if they have like two little things on them, uh, on the jack itself, it's a stereo. Uh, correct. But, yes. Right. But yeah. but, 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 but it's not called yeah. a Motorola. There's no such thing as a Motorola jack. Hang on, my coffee's here. 
<laughs> now you want me to really get them confused. Have, how many cannon plugs do you have? You know. Uh, well, I I've got one that vibrates. Yeah, no, do, and you, uh, well, you you use cannon plugs, don't you? N no, I use uh, 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 XLRs, well, that's, uh, RCAs, that's, that's, and uh, Motorola's. XL, XLRs are also called cannon plugs. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, because they were invented by Canon. Oh, really? I think so. Yeah. I think that's All why right. they're called cannon plugs. Yeah, and that other one that you showed me was invented by Motorola. No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> so you, uh, you, you, you know when they used to use those kind of plugs that you're calling the motorola plugs i remember yeah. uh, 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 uh what do you call it uh, uh uh operators telephone operators used to use those exact yeah. jacks to plug in and they would take the line from here and the line from there and they you know and those they those well, that, were the plugs they were using that was the jumper cars. Uh, it was a jumper motorola plug no <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Rob, Rob's the radio guy. Rob, there is no such thing as a Motorola plug, is there? Never heard of it. <laughs> okay, and how long were you in radio? He was among guitars. <laughs> long time. Yeah, yeah. But a if, Motorola that's, plug. But if I that's, said a, that's a, a quarter inch yeah. phono jack. Here's here's what he's showing. Yeah. What what Kevin is showing is what you think is the Motorola jack. It is just a microphone jack. It's a quarter inch a microphone. A, a yeah, guitar it's a quarter jack. inch. Yeah. It's a quarter inch phono jack is typically what people call it in the business. Yeah. There you go. Typically. Quarter inch phono. That's and it. then the RCA but are those little nub nosed ones. What? Well, you could call it anything you like. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, and I just <laughs> did. Call, call it a. Hello, Moto. Call, uh, hey, listen, I got a plug here. It's a Samsung. Mm hmm. Uh, Samsung doesn't count. Uh, oh, it doesn't call count. It a, you, but you want to call it uh, a strawberry. <laughs> This is not yeah, a lightning plug. You can call it a strawberry if you like. Yes. Yeah. Well, that, that is, a, is a Motorola uh, plug this is for, a thunder a, for an plug, Apple. Not a lightning plug. That's a lightning. Yeah. No, it's, yeah, thunder. it's a thunder. It's I a call thunder. it thunder, yeah. No, you well, call it thunder. No, okay. no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, wait, wait a minute. The thunderbolt is a different plug than the... Uh, yeah, that's correct. Oh, I'm sorry. Then it's, yeah. a, it's a cloud plug. It's right. Yeah. Well, what? the cloud is something different, too. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> you don't need a plug on the cloud. It's a rain plug. It's For a instance, wet There you wet, go. It's wet, a hey, rain plug. He, rain he, plug. He thought it, here's, here's, here's what about a butt plug? plug. Here's, your light, butt plug. here's your lightning plug. You got a butt plug? plug? <laughs> here's your lightning plug. Okay? Yeah. And then the this, uh, the, the Thunderbolt plug. plug is the new plug that's in basically just in Max and uh, is, a, is a Thunderbolt jack that's a high-speed jack. Uh, yeah. But you can... You can get adapters and put any kind of jack into that jack, Jack. Do you take your jack off? Yeah, and you put your jack okay. on, too. All right. You know. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, hey, look, we got a crowd already. Jeez. Yeah. Hey, what a, what a, we're having a happy fizzies party here. We're there talking we about butt plugs. Everybody calls in. We haven't seen you all week, Patrick. How you doing? Um... Well, I'm I'm here. I'm alive. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. I've got Packers an uncle. lost. He's pissed. Well, I've got an uncle that possibly has lung cancer. Oh. Um, I've got a very close friend of mine who just lost her job after 20 years. They eliminated her job, and I've been dealing with a pressure sore on my heel that were damn near healed up three weeks ago that I managed to fuck up and have been at the hospital every week now, uh, once a week, and I was there today. So, hey, now, Patrick, me, can, can I use that sound bite? I want to create a holiday promo for GabNet. I'm going to end it with happy holidays from GabNet. <laughs> God <laughs> almighty. <laughs> I'll get you the the I'll get you the uh, the sound bite uh, if you if you'll do it, Rob. I'll send you the sound bite. I missed it. What was, what was the sound bite you wanted exactly? Bite. That I've had pressure sores on my heels and I've been to the hospital every the week. Whole the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go back and listen. Happy to holidays, it. everybody. I yeah, no shit. Get, get me that. I'm well, on vacation this starting today. I got ten days off, so I'll I'll put that together. Oh, this good, week. good. Make other promos too. I'll write <laughs> you some too, because I believe me, I'm you know. Sometimes uh, you know, promos. my 
my creativity because I'm so busy. My creativity is shot. But you know, we're just saying, how are you? And it's we're a week before Thanksgiving, and you went through this diatribe, and I was like, wow, what a perfect. All of a sudden, you're thinking about promos. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The brain doesn't stop. Yeah, you know, <laughs> amazing. Either that, or you could just uh, download it from the uh, from the web, you know, um, from the show. Uh, but y yes, yes, Jeff. Maybe Jeff uh, will say something I'm for your first, promo too. I'm first from Patrick as to uh, uh, what kind of therapy did they work on your foot? Well, it it isn't therapy. Uh, it's a it's an open. <laughs> It's an open wound on my, yeah. and uh, uh, be careful. You don't want to mess up this next promo. Ryan, you're making too much noise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're screwing up the promo, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's an open sore. Start from yeah. there. Right. Take two. It, it, it's an open sore that uh, basically it was it was a process from February. Up until three weeks ago, that I got it to it was about the size of a pinhead, and then I forgot to take my spasm medication one night. I've never forgotten to take it. No. Had to do it, and my foot rubbed all night, and I created a uh, blood blister no. about the size of my heel, and when it broke open. It was all raw skin underneath, and that's what I'm dealing with now. So um, I was using Meta Honey. I don't know if you know what that is. It's no. Meta Grade Honey, and it helped draw out moisture. And now um, they moved me on to it's a silver um, pad that uh, I'm putting on the store. So, and I used that silver pad on the wound before when it got healed up fairly well. So we're just moving ahead with that more quickly because it seemed to do the trick. Do you ever so, consider by, wearing by, socks? By the way, uh, uh, Rob, I'll drop, mm -hmm. I'll drop the entire show in the drop box for you. Okay. 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 Yeah. Well, Phil, that, that's the issue is I even, I, I had a dressing on the foot, but it's just the friction because of how I spasm yeah. with my legs. If I don't take the medication, mm -hmm. that that's what it did. It, it just rubbed it, and it was one night, and mm -hmm. I fucked up almost seven months worth of healing. Wow! So, it's a good thing you didn't grab something else in the middle of the night when you were spasming. You know? Can you imagine? Uh... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anybody else have anything else that's oozing that can go into the promo? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I tell you something. My um, pride and self-respect. <laughs> my, my, my back's killing me. My back's killing me, and uh, sure, Bobby, uh, put that in your promo. And I discovered that it's caused by my car seat. Uh, that there's a, a metal frame in the car seat. What has this and... show become? Go ahead. <sighs> Hey, you're you're the one in your uh, monologue that uh, you know kind of started it off, <laughs> you know. I, but uh, <clears throat> this this frame on the metal car seat, just flying on the plane, uh, you know, I was in uh, coach, and I asked for a blanket or a pillow to put behind my back because uh, I was I was having uh, I thought it was kidney problems, but it's it's the seat of my car that's that's doing it, and. Uh, so, uh, you know, they said, oh, we don't have blankets or pillows. Yeah, you know, those days are over. Yeah. And I, I have said, had kidney stones. Yeah. And, uh, so, well, that's what I thought it was. And I just, just for the heck of it, I'm going to get tested tomorrow. They do some sort of urine analysis. And how are your feet doing, Kevin? <laughs> they suck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My teeth are kind of fucked up. Are they? But they've been that way since high school. Oh, okay. I'm a Brit. I, I was, and... Probably to a lighter, much lighter extent today, uh, a gritter at night. Uh, well, you get one of those uh, things they uh, put in there. There's some sort of appliance that they sell, uh, or, or you can have the dentist make you. They're at the point of. There's a line. The there's, a line point, there's, a so. li there's a line on this show. Uh, Michael Douglas has um, oh, has yeah. prostate problems, and he has to go to the 
doctor played by Danny yeah. DeVito. And Danny DeVito says, well, I'll give you something. But it, what it will do is give you retrograde uh, ejaculation. I uh, yeah. which means that instead of the ejaculate going coming out, it kind of goes into your stomach. And, uh, and he Won't says, the good news about it is it makes blowjobs neater. <laughs> True. <laughs> Alex, I have to be honest, I thought you were going to make a, uh, I thought you were going to make a kind of lingus joke with him. <laughs> well, anyway, so I, I go online and I look at uh, other FJ Cruiser owners, and they're all complaining about the seat and how it's uncomfortable. Uh, I guess there's a forum. So uh, uh, on the way home today, what do you mean I FJ Cruiser? At- What's an FJ Cruiser? Yeah, it's a Toyota uh, FJ Cruiser. It's a it's the car oh, I drive. Because I know there uh, were PT Cruisers they had for a while. No, nah, this is that's a, putting a different brand. This yeah. is a Toyota. Yeah. So they're nice. They're kind of retro looking. They're really actually a cool car, except the seats suck. So uh, I, on the way home, I stop at a place to look at SUVs. It, it is outrageous uh, what they want for these SUVs. Between they start this one starts at seventy five thousand and goes to ninety five thousand. What are you looking at? Yeah, uh, what? and an Escalade. What? Oh. Oh, shit. Huh? There's there other brand other than Cadillac. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I know, but I th- this one the seats. Uh, there are people who make SUVs you. for they poorer have a people. You thing know, in the seat that massages your back. Uh, Fall asleep while you're driving. Well, no, no, no. It's got uh, it's got uh, some sort of assist thing that keeps you out of accidents and in the lane. It parks by itself. Uh, you know. Wait a little. Save up a little more. Phil. Well, you if you want to... all that cheaper, just get an Uber driver. Well, I was yeah, gonna really? say, save, if you want to save up a little more money, you can get one of those self-driving cars because they're saying now that they're uh, the the transportation department's worried that people are going to have sex in them. Well, you know, the, I get yeah. a self-driving car, except um, it, it would probably tell me it doesn't want to go where I want to go. So, <laughs> Michael <laughs> Douglas, if you're listening, you can get one of your inverted blowjobs in one of those things. Yeah, right. Exactly. Exactly. So. While you're well, cruising. you know, there there was a drug that Alex and I were both taking that the side effect was a uh, retrograde uh, ejaculation. Oh, well, I'm taking. Was it I'm taking, or, uh, it, or it, it, the other one? Uh, it's Flomax. Flomax. Well, yeah, yeah. I was on that for a while. Yeah, well, the Cialis, yeah, I the Flomax, the Cialis with me is the same thing. Now it doesn't matter. I don't get any ejaculation. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a prostate. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, how's that doing? Are you doing okay with that now? I think so. They, I got to go in for a PSA test. They test it every six months just to make sure nothing's come back. Well, because uh, I don't want to hear this information from my father. Boy, <laughs> no, but no, but no, no. The qu- reason I'm asking is, is that you've been going without a prostate. How is the urinary uh, continence? Uh, it's getting better, but it's uh, it's may take two years before I'm back to normal. You don't want to pee on your cat on your Cadillac Escalade seats. That's oh, right. Leather. That's right. <laughs> yeah, yes, no. Patrick. That's the other thing. I just got a urinary tract infection last night. And I started wow. Off. We hit the that jackpot. That tops everything. <laughs> Best so, promo ever. Yep. So now, I, now I'm on uh, antibiotics, so I'm not pissing myself like right now. Oh, okay. I, Myself in 24 hours. So it's a holiday blessing. <laughs> it's yeah, a, evidently it's a Thanksgiving Christmas ding, ding, miracle. Ding, ding, ding. Alex, yeah. every- you, you thought that you and I were the old Jesus. Yeah, right. Well, I feel <laughs> we're I, not. You make no, me feel so fun. young. Yes, yes, Brian. I was just going to say because I don't want to ask my father this question, it'd be mildly disturbed for the rest of my life and face therapy. Uh, though you cannot. Maybe ejaculate in offense in offense of the uh, surgery that you received on your prostate and having it removed. Do you still have the urges too? Uh, yes. Oh well, I guess that's hell then. Uh, no, it, it, there, you can actually. Uh, you know, I've, uh, don't make a promo out of this one. You oh, don't need oh, to hey, you, you, oh, yeah, you don't need to. No, of you course, of course, the, Phil. You, you can trust us. We're not going to make a promo out of anything you say. Go of ahead. Course not, of course. <laughs> <not. Okay, laughs> okay, record. <Yeah. laughs> Hey, you know, I just noticed something. On this the is going to be the longest promo we've ever made. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours. <laughs> Roll tape. Yeah. Hey, uh, I, I just noticed something on the new Skype. I'm looking at Jeff's bubble, and it's got a his microphone is muted, 
and uh, you can see that it's muted as a symbol under his uh, under his bubble. Bill, you can also mute people. I was saying that late last night. Really? Oh yeah. You, uh, hover over their uh, hover over their circle or their whatever, and make a and right click on them. It gives you the option. Yeah. Oh. Well, okay, Brian Ludwig. The new Skype you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw that well, just I, yesterday. Maybe I, I will go to click, maybe I, I will go to the thing. new Skype. That way I can shut Phil up anytime I want to. Yeah. Well, I guess you're going to have to convert to that. Yeah, yeah. I can't do that. Uh-huh. I can't do that. Uh, oh, I really? tried it. Uh, it doesn't work. I was going to cover over Brian. But... You know, <laughs> I have a slow. Can you right. hear me now? Yeah, I can. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Anyway, so... Uh, hey, Brian, what's this pompadour you're sporting? Well, bedhead. Huh? That's called bedhead. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I said a while ago, you weren't here, but I said a while ago that I generally take like a three hour, since well, currently I'm not really working, I'm, I take like a three or four hour nap before I come on here. You oh, know wow. something, with that hair and with that, your face, actually, we should have you do carpool karaoke. <laughs> that's true I sing tiny bubbles to some to some douchebag yeah yeah, yeah. Um, yes Jeff 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 okay Del uh, Jefe. So yes. I, I had a very unusual uh... you're muted again Jeff How did you there do you it? go it did it by itself huh. yeah poltergeist I'm you. Oh, you know what? Don't don't Check. use it then. I was just testing it out. You were so. Okay. I guess you you not only muted to me, you're muted to everyone else too. That's that's oh, fucked oh, up. Oh, you mean in other words, if you uh, mute somebody on yours, it mutes yeah, him you, to everybody. You, I, I saw yeah. the little mute symbol go up over huh? his circle. I was just testing oh, it out for shits and giggles. Yeah, I, I right click oh, and that's I'm not fun. doing anything. <laughs> yeah, but it only works on yours. You're losing control of the program, Alex. Now anybody can mute anybody. Oh, oh yeah, I, fuck you. Mute. <laughs> by the way, I apologize. By, I was just... by the way, Brian, just mute Phil, mute Phil right now. Yeah, I thought Try about it. doing that. But, you Try know. it. See if it'll work. It works. He, he muted. Man, he muted no, I think Jeff muted himself. Go ahead. Oh, no, I it. didn't. I no? didn't. Since you asked. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Try it. This is Phil. Okay. He's muted. Hey, Are you <laughs> muted, Phil? Talk. Yeah, I can hear him. He's talk, trying to talk, but you can't hear him. And you're muting him. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this oh, is really a great. What power. a great. Thank you, Ooh. Skype. Another reason for me not to go to Skype 8. <laughs> <laughs> Try unmuting yourself because it, it just keeps giving me the option to rem rem remove from call, Phil. I, I don't This is uh... fucked up. Uh, hey, there, there you, you are. got Skype uh, 8. I got Skype 8 too, but it won't do that. This is huh. fucked up. That's weird. Well, fuck power. It. Yeah, I, I, uh, I'm, I've the got power. the new Skype. I can't do it. I can't do it either. I looked. I don't even have a way to do it. Man, let Brian's let me, let me the only you. one that's got the power. Well, let me, well, Brian, did you, <laughs> did you sign in a different way? Like, did you sign in? I just let him. Packs? Or did you, you know, sign in we're, the, Windows is installing new updates on your computer. I just let them do their fucking thing, and I just walk the fuck away. And let oh, it's wind blows. Well, maybe it's why. Windows. Uh, I have okay. we have Macs. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess oh, it, that could be the yeah, reason. We're all why. Mac daddies. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, anyway, uh, 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 going on to a slightly different subject. Uh, well, uh, Jeff was going to say something. Oh yes, Jeff. Okay. Oh yeah. So I I I go to New Haven today and. With, we got snow all over the place, and I'm trying to park in the city, you know, and you got to pay and you know, all that kind of stuff on the street. And all of a sudden, two guys walk over to me, and I don't know if this has ever happened to you, Alex, but two guys come over to me, and they say, are you Jewish? And I said, yes. So, so do you have any idea what, it, what he wanted to do? Um, uh, Stab you? Uh, <laughs> let me see here. I would say, did it have something minion. to do with Hasidim? Yeah. Uh, needed a yep. minion. Were they trying to recruit you for something? They want me to, uh, does, uh, what do you call it? Where you pull uh, the stuff on your arm? The and film. Oh, uh, yeah. Davin. Uh, no, yeah. the, the film. The, uh, the phylactery. Yeah. Phylactery. But that's what they call the thing that you put on, the film. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty fun. So, I said, sure. Go ahead. Really? 
give a shit. What do I care? I, 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 my, I have a friend that bought a uh, Torah for a uh, new synagogue. And uh, I actually bought a letter in the Torah. And they had that me must be in, put on the Brooklyn, tefillin. It must be a Brooklyn pronunciation of Torah. Torah. Uh, so anyway, uh, they had the rabbi has me put on this tefillin. I had to say some prayers, and then he held my hand when he. I used this very unusual silver pen to uh, oh, you, to write yeah, the letter. Yeah. Oh, to write the letter or to just read the Torah. No, to, they, it's not the pointer. This was oh, a, oh. a writing instrument. Oh, okay. And I actually wrote a letter in the Torah, and uh, you know, and my donation to to do that. They gave me a certificate, and uh, but it was a very uh, you know it was interesting. My you know uh, it was I guess an expensive uh, uh, donation to to give a Torah to a synagogue. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it took, uh, I don't know how many years, it took at least a year for them to uh, to write the Torah. And uh, or to this it? one guy. Hmm? What do you mean to write it? Isn't it a book that's already written? No, it's a it's scroll. scroll. It's a scroll. And they Still. actually, uh, they, they write, to... they do it all by hand. Oh, you mean, so somebody has to, it's the same. Yeah, they're called a scribe. It's the same thing, though. He's writing the same thing. Every Torah is the <laughs> same, right? Every Torah is the oh, same. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Wow! So everything went as handwritten. Oh yeah, yeah. They're, and they're yeah. huge too. They're huge. Uh, wow. What's called the parchment? Parchment. Yeah. I did not know that. I mean, yeah, I, I grew up. I saw that. Man. I grew up yeah. in a very Jewish area and been to plenty of bar mitzvahs. Been to plenty of, yeah. you know, temples for different yeah. ceremonies, and yeah, did not know that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, you remember that guy, Steve, that I had uh, asked to come onto the show to talk about uh, something to do with law enforcement? By the he's way, the guy that, yeah. he's the guy that donated the Torah. By the way, they do. Uh, they do also do one other thing. They uh, they uh, they uh, have uh, videotapes. They now make of uh, brisses. They're, you've probably heard of them. They're called skin flicks. <laughs> <laughs> They're very popular. Yeah, Ouch. Ouch! Similar to the style of joke I like to say, I'm fair skinned. Well, I, so I, I, uh, I, I, I was to a bris, a real bris once. Mm -hmm. It was uh, for David Feldman's son, Willie. Yeah. Uh, Willie. Uh, he Willie. lost his Willie. Name. Yeah. And uh, it's in case people don't know what a bris is, it's 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 where uh, they uh, uh, do a uh, what do you call it? Circumcision. Circumcision. Uh, but it's 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 a stylized circumcision in that it's done by a rabbi. And they feed the kid wine and get him drunk on wine, the little baby. Uh, and uh, then there are little traditions they do at the, at the bris before they cut off the tip of the kid's penis. And the, the bubba, the bubby, the mother, the, the grandmother the grandma. holds the baby while they do the bris, okay? And then what they do is they read a portion of a book that the family chooses for people, somebody to read from. And Feldman uh, asked me if I would like to do the reading. And I said, fine, did you pick a book? And he says, yes, we're going to have you read from Moby Dick. Is that what he doesn't talk to you anymore? And I read from Moby Dick at a bris. Uh, yeah. The whole thing? Huh? No, not the whole thing. Yeah. They call me Ishmael. I think I got that yeah, far. That's the first yeah. words. Well, uh, well, you know, my name enough. is Ishmael. Excuse me. Yeah. What, what do you expect? It's only a six thousand year old uh, tradition. Religious yeah. tradition, you know. Right. Right. <laughs> well, I mean, I, it, 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 the question is whether circumcision is an important practice, because it became a a, a practice even outside of Judaism uh, when kids were born. And now it's argued that it's not needed, and in fact, it may uh, it may inhibit certain things over the it's years. It's argued that it's a genital mutilation as well. Yeah, it's it's also hygienically, uh, you know, good. Uh, you know, when it comes to because, genital mutilation, I've had some blowjobs that qualify under that right. category. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, uh, not to rain on your parade, did you uh, uh, update your iOS for uh, your iPhone? I have, yes. Yeah. Uh, is that the 12.1? It is. Okay, I just got the thing. It says, introduces group FaceTime. Yes. Yes. Right. Mm. 
Yeah, know, that's that fine. Mean? And I would I would love to go to group FaceTime. That would be very nice. Okay, except for but, the fact that uh, unless you have an Apple product, right, you can't do FaceTime. Right. You mean to say there's no app FaceTime for no. for uh, <clears throat> no. Microsoft? Nope. Huh. Or, nope. or for uh, now, Android. Now there is huh. there are is iTunes for for Apple. You know, uh, yeah. there's iTunes for Apple. What is that noise coming from? I think it's uh, it's, uh, it's Brian. He's eating chips or something. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, Brian, Hi. stop it. Mute. Mute. <laughs> mute. Yeah, mute yourself, for Christ's sake, Only, Mr. Mr. Mute. Well, he's, he's busy muting everybody else. Yeah. But he won't mute himself. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, but no, but it would be nice. They do iTunes for for Microsoft, you know, for uh, my, for Windows. Uh, it would be nice if they also did FaceTime for Windows as well. Yeah. And then we uh, could do the mostly... show. We could do the show on FaceTime. That was mostly so they can get Windows people to buy i i uh, pods. That's why they did that. Well, that's of course. That's why they did the U the iTunes for Windows. But you know the fact that uh, I can do you can do up to th what is it, twenty four people. Um, yeah, I'd like to see what it looks like. <laughs> so would Alex. <laughs> <laughs> well, I couldn't do it on this machine because I don't have Mojave on this machine because uh, this one can't be upgraded to Mojave. You know, uh, and I think you have to have Mojave in order to get FaceTime that will do that. So I don't know. But anyway, hey, uh, but, it, it, does Tony have the per periodic table on that computer uh, which, back there? Is that doesn't that look like a periodic table? Which one? Uh, on the computer screen behind you. No, yeah, that one. Oh, yeah. that that's all my photos that I was scanning. My other one. Oh, okay. From I was working from, on Photoshop. Uh, not that we want to go into this too much, but how's your mother, Tony? You, uh... oh, she's doing better. She's home. And we actually got good results. I guess as good as can be is that uh, start recording. The no, CT yeah. scan came back. It's only it's two spots, two cancerous polyps because it came back on the colon. So it didn't spread anywhere else. Oh. So we got a discharge, Alex, from that hospital. Like, like our son's like, it's a bad hospital. And we don't want to have the procedure done there. So we're just waiting now to get an appointment with a doctor in Sloan because my sister's friend is a nurse there. So she has a guy that she wants us to go to, which we didn't want well, to have. We don't to have yet. to go into the so, whole thing, you know, but I just want to know how yeah, she's doing. Yeah, you know, Alex, I tell you the truth. Want me to do the honors? If we, <laughs> you push her down the stairs yet? <laughs> no. She's like, I wanted to sleep down here tonight, but she's I want to go upstairs. So I just tucked her in, actually. So I said, Mom, upstairs, anything, Tony. Just, Upstairs is good. It's how you push them down the stairs. They I know. I said, throw Baba from the train. <laughs> in case, in case nobody has ever listened to this program before, Tony is in fact the Norman Bates of this program. I mean, I felt, I felt bad for it, but I'm a favorite, Alex. That's what it is. I, I know that, brother, Tony. I'm baby. And she'll trust you at the top of the stairs. <laughs> no, but I mean, mama, mama, I was look. to laugh in the hospital because I got there late. My brother was there the other night, and my sister. So I took the bus over, and I came in with Chinese food. So I said to my mother, "I got chinks." And my sister's like, what, what are you saying that? Well, what? there's no Chinese. What? I just well, it's true. <laughs> let, 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 let me, let me, let me, they don't let, care. I'm going to talk a little bit out of school. <laughs> Uh, hey, because I because I was concerned about you, Shecky sent me some of your notes to him, so that oh, I could. Alex, oh my I, God! Wait a minute. He does to Shecky what he does? To I us? have to visit him soon because I got great stories. No, 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 no. But forget about that. So he sent me this one, and you talked about a woman who was oh, in the yeah. room with your mother, and you said it was a nice colored woman. I tell you, I mean, in the best way. <laughs> wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, Tony. Tony, yeah. you're living in the year 2018. You, you use the vernacular my grandfather used to use. He's, using, he's living in the year 1951. Let's get, <laughs> hey, let's get chinks. I'm hungry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't you say that? Man. There isn't a Jew alive that doesn't say on Sunday it's time. Let's get chinks. You know what she told the nurse? That's so she funny. Was, she was from Bushwick. She told the nurse, she, you couldn't see her because they had the curtain up, right? So, so basically, well, hold on a second. Hey, Patrick, that's funny you say you're from your Bushwick. Your promo just that's, got shit canned, yeah. Patrick. My next, that's, I that's where my family's from, <laughs> Bushwick, Brooklyn. Yeah. Oh. 
That, yeah. Mine's from Flatbush. <laughs> Somebody just came in, he hugged them and left. Oh. Your promo just got shit canned, Patrick. Who, who, who is that? That's my nephew. He's going to be a lawyer. He's in St. John's. I'll see you later, James. Hey, All if right. you push your mother, you got yeah, to work with lawyer your family. Wait a minute. Patrick's got his hand up, and, you know. So listen to this. Wait a minute. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Patrick. No, I, I, I was going to mention about the the colored lady as well and drop drop you like a hot towel. She said that to the nurse, Patrick. She had the I, covering up, right? So I came to with the Chinese food. <laughs> but no, the all I'm saying is, is Tony, right? so Tony, Tony like in, this, in this note, you refer to her as a nice colored lady. You're right, I should have said that. But she was so nice. So all I hear is I couldn't say There's it, a right? new term for it, negress. <laughs> <laughs> the Negroes took our women. She goes like this: "I'll drop you like a fucking hot towel." <laughs> At that time, I was like, "Are you all right?" She she told me to go in my diaper, so I ain't going in my diaper. She came over here and taking me to the bathroom. My mother thinks you know. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. about. She lives in Bushwick. You're not playing bingo with her. <laughs> what is she crazy? I mean, she's nice. Because you know what it is? My mother sleeps with the window open. So you know what she tells me? When I go home, I do the same thing. My son says it's like a meat locker. She sleeps with the window I open. Oh, she I got to tell you. The window. Hey, Alex. I'm getting like, a hey, headache. Hey, what? Is, it, is the new pronunciation for window a winder? A winder. winder. Yeah. <laughs> a winder. Uh, yes. A, a winder. A, a Patrick. <laughs> you know, you, Tony could have been talking about piles. <laughs> I think he was getting there. <laughs> did, did the nice colored woman tell him to shit in his pants? Is that what happened? You know what's funny is he must send a message to um, everybody because I got Tony sent me no shit because like I said last week I put him on mute for like an hour at a time. Mm -hmm. I blocked him. I couldn't do it anymore. Forty and some of the lines are single words. Right. Like now and the and then you know I, it just so you wait and then I got yeah I got the chink food and I got the colored lady the nice yeah. colored lady and drop you like a hot towel and so it was it was quite entertaining for for that but no can, can you turn off the ringer just on his uh, thing so that you know when he does it because what happens is you get like. 30 ding 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 in a, in a, in a row as fast as he can send them. Well, he he doesn't dare send me anymore. What, Alex? He doesn't dare send me any messages anymore. Uh, yeah, they, he used to try to ask me to ask you. Because I blocked him. <laughs> I blocked him and then I've unblocked him, but I haven't told him. No, well, <laughs> okay. he just did probably. Well, no, he's, he's not there right now, so he can't hear me. And no, he's, he's looking for the nice colored he's lady. He's out like... We can always download the program later. I don't know. He's yeah. changing mom's diapers or something like that. You know. But uh, yeah. anyway. Uh, boy. Uh, oh, if his dog is... Stomach is so, so, yes, Jeff. I put a lot of my cousins on Facebook. And I put them on this three-month, you know, 30 days off. Mm -hmm. on the, yeah. It's a wonderful world. <laughs> Why, what is he, like a right winger or something? No, 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 no. It's just too much fun. No yeah. interest. Well, here's a yeah. question I wanted to ask all of you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, no, not well, you. Just to to everybody but you, Tony. Uh, <laughs> no, the question is, God, I'm lightheaded tonight. This fucking drug I'm taking is ridiculous. Um, I'm going to drug myself. Do you uh, plan on buying a gun and going to a school? No, oh, no. I couldn't, I couldn't even aim it right now. I'm like, <laughs> you know. Remember, he's licensed. I, uh, I'm just really tired. I just, well, my it, thing is, if you're going anyway, to anyway, anyway, block me, you might as well unfriend me. But I'm taking, I'm taking like a minimal amount of gabapentin. It shouldn't be doing this to yeah. me. But anyway, but, but let me get back to what I was going to say. Yeah. Bringing this all into the fold. Uh, Facebook. How do you feel about it? It's up. I mean, I'm, I, I, huh? I, I'm getting more and dis more disgusted by it by the day. You know, with yeah. all the revelations that are coming out, you know. Well, I like Russian women, so I was thinking that, you know, maybe <laughs> this would be a good entree to, uh, you know, to, to Russian women. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yes, Brian. Uh, and to directly answer your question, 
I just uh, the other night watched a documentary on Netflix, which I would suggest you all check out if you have the service, called Terms and Conditions May Apply. And uh, one of the things that was revealed, two things that were revealed on the Facebook front. One was Mark, Mark Fuckerberg, as, he, as it pertained to his college days, when he was testing out the software, he was communicating with someone else saying, I've got four people, 4,000 people who have sent me back information about themselves simply because I asked them to. And they say they trust me. I'm paraphrasing. And then he goes on to say, dumb fucks. Yeah, he said that. But he did say dumb well, fucks. Now, you, to begin with, you're saying it because you saw a documentary. No, but how did, just, just, just because, just because it was a documentary doesn't mean they were telling the truth. At the end I, of the documentary, they have uh, this. They try to ambush him at his uh, private home, and uh, the guy's asking him, uh, uh, "Can I ask you a few questions?" And he's wearing this like headset or whatever that's recording the video and everything. And Mark uh, says to him, uh, "Yeah, but can you uh, can you not record me?" And he's and he says and he's all standoffish. So he says, "Okay, I'll turn it off." He doesn't really turn it off, unbeknownst well, to Mark. Well, that's wrong. We see then he, him more relaxed and saying, "Oh, well, if you want to get an interview, go go to my office and we'll set you up with an interview." And he's more relaxed and he's moving his arms around because he doesn't think he's being recorded. And the well, point that, they're trying to make well, is, "Wait a minute, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute." What kind of a documentary is this where they tell a guy he isn't being recorded and then they show you what he was saying when he didn't think he was being recorded? Expose point in terms of their our, our content not actually being deleted, even when we want it to be well, no, deleted. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What, what's what's, what's worse though? What's, That's what kind of what's worse? This is. Worse Facebook or the documentary about Facebook in which they use unscrupulous practices to get interviews with people? They're, if they're using unscrupulous practices, Alex, they're using unscrupulous practices in retaliation. No, against no, that. Did, but you don't. Practice. I'm not going to trust any documentary made by somebody who tells somebody the camera's off. Well, ultimately, you have to check it out and make a judgment call for yourself. No, that, if they did, that, did, did, did they in fact do that? Did they in fact do what? Tell him that he wasn't being recorded. Yeah. Okay, and they and then they showed it in the documentary. That is correct. Fuck him. During the credit Fuck sequence. Em. Fuck him. So you just shoot the whole thing down. That's and absolutely right. Because how do I trust the rest of it? Huh. How do you trust Facebook? I don't. Well, but that's another invest- story altogether. There, there's a article well, they're making here, the point even more poignantly clear that you don't trust them. There's an article here that says Facebook investors call on Zuckerberg to resign. And I saw another another article, which I can't find at the moment, that many people are get, uh, are deleting their Facebook uh, uh, presence, you know, or their their Facebook Profiles. subscription. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, and uh, you know they had a it's number been going on for a while though. Yeah, I can't. I can't find the uh, the one about the deletions at the moment, but uh, it seems as though it's it's losing its popularity, and uh, you know I think well, people it, don't trust lo- it. it. Just it, like uh, uh, Brian said, yeah. uh, Brian said that people gave information thinking that it was trustworthy, and now you're finding out that that information is being sold. It's being mined. Well, what, 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 and, what, and, so, what somebody in- said. What somebody said was. The other day, uh, this was on MSNBC, it turns out that Facebook is not just a social media site. It is a data miner. Right, right. Which you they know. all are. Yeah, but uh, people had the, uh, uh, they felt uh, uh, that it, their information was safe. I, and, I never felt that way. I went onto that thing thinking my shit is on the air and my shit is just like uh, if I was broadcasting on on uh, on a uh, two way radio or whatever. I always uh, what, 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 I didn't. But what if I always put on did. there? What if you what put, I put on, on there? Post? I expect minute, everybody well, to see. Kevin, well, uh, you could choose the security level that yeah, you, you wanted. Can, but I matter. still expect for, that everybody's going to see it somewhere, right. somehow. Well, your friends could see it. No, no, the security uh, instance, the security level that you can set on Facebook is very minimal. It has nothing yeah. to do with them yeah. garnering no. information. But as you. far as the information that you put on, you could choose how much of it was visible to the public and how much was visible to friends. Uh, I didn't put any security on, but uh, yeah, some but people at- have, and then they thought that they were getting uh, secure information uh, that only their friends would see. But obviously, that's not. Look, the case. I was not yeah, foolish. Look at enough. your iPhone. Yeah. Hmm? Look at your iPhone. 
Yeah. They didn't know everything about you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, you didn't have you didn't sign up for any security for that. They know where you're going to shopping. They know where you're going to. And by work. the way, have they you ever have that. you ever signed the oh. Apple agreement? Yeah. Every time you update, every time you update, right? Do you yeah. ever read it? Nope. For all you know, you have to give your firstborn child. You know, but you but uh, I, and, and that's the whole thing is you just got to look at it like you're and, you're you're an open book. In 2011, I just listened watch to what a, you put on it. I listened to a keynote speech by Gary Vaynerchuk, and he was talking about this chip that they were going to be putting into phones by 2017 that would know exactly where you are, what you were shopping for, and then send you uh, ads and coupons. It's already there. I know it's already there. In 2011, yeah. Gary Vaynerchuk was talking about uh, this stuff coming to the web. And it was very interesting. Uh, if, yeah. you, if you want to go back in time, it yeah. was uh, a uh, keynote speech to Inc. Magazine, 2011. Yeah. Uh, yes, Patrick. Yeah, I, I, I was always like Kevin. I, I just assumed that, because I was very standoffish. My ex is the one who got me on the Facebook. And I said, I'm not really interested in everybody knowing everything about me. And she said... What's the big fucking deal? You've got a, uh, you know, a cell phone that, you know, everybody knows. And, and it, it made sense. And I just, I've never assumed that anything that I put on Facebook is safe. There, if there's something that is private with my family or something like that, it is not on there. Yeah, if you hey, don't want them to know, you don't put it on there. Hey, Rob. I, I thought the name of this chip that's in the phone is called like a Deerfield chip or something like that. I can't remember. it. You know, it's been seven or eight years since I listened to that thing. But I'm just wondering whether you can opt out of that chip and, and turn it that I that thing well, off. Well, look, you, you, you know, late. to begin with, <laughs> to begin with, you're they're going to know where you are by your phone because your phone has to send it has to attach itself it's pain, to cell pains. sites. And, and uh, so you're very easily found no matter where. Now, that's a good thing. It's a bad thing. Exactly. You know? um, uh, but it, the f fact of the matter is that what bothers me is that, for instance, if you want to turn on, you just bought an iPhone, okay? And now you want to turn it on. You've got to sign that agreement with Apple, Right. Saying, you know, what, whatever it says in there, who knows? It's 100 pages long, and it, it probably tells you that, you know, you've got to give, uh, you know, Zuckerberg a blowjob or something in there, uh, or, or, or the head of Apple, whatever his name is, uh, Tim Cook, uh, or he gets to give you a blowjob. Anyway. Um, oh, he'd like it too, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, it, but the fact is that if you don't sign, accept then you can't turn your fucking phone on. You can't use your fucking phone. Well, wait a minute. I just paid $1,100 for this thing, and if I don't sign this, this agreement, accept it, it's a so brick. Back. I think it works as a phone if you're not uh, <clears throat> using it on Wi-Fi and Internet. I do believe you've got to sign. You, you've got to have, for instance, an Apple account. for your I, You have to have an Apple ID in order yeah. for you to use your phone for any functionality beyond just making a phone call. By the way, I got this. Dial 911, that's about it. As long as we're talking about phone calls, I got this program. I paid $29.99 for the year for it. And the program is called, let me just get it out here so that I don't get it wrong. Um, wait a minute, where is it? Oh. Uh, it's, uh, what's it called? Fuck me. Oh, here it is. Robo Killer. Red Tube. Robo Killer. Oh, yeah? It's the first program I've found that will not only intercept your calls, but they won't ring. Wow. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. I this, saw that on TV today. Yeah, this phone has been silent for the better part of a week or so since I got it. Maybe one or two calls have gotten through. But you do get a thing where you can go to it and uh, look at it and, and see, like, for instance, uh, 
likely spoofed, and they give me a number here of uh, 646-941-5635. And That's my it, number. Huh? Imagine that. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. You're a 646, <laughs> right. And, uh, uh, and what happens is you can play it. Down. And, and it, it also puts a spoof recording that it yeah. plays to them so that it'll answer. But this is what went on, you know, with the, with the, with the call. And um, That's cool. So what does it yeah. say, hello, and the guy says hello, and it yeah. says hello back, yeah. or and I, then hello? Yeah, or I can do my own and go, fuck you, suck me, blow me, you know, whatever. <laughs> oh, I'd rather do that in person. I get on the phone and, you fucking piece of shit. Yeah. Oh, hey, I just you know, let him have it. You but, know what I worry about? Sometimes I get phone calls from customers, and their number might be, you know, uh, well, uh, come up as a, as a spam, and it has on the higher. And if I were to do that, and it turns out that it was, you know, well, a customer. In, in yeah. this in this Somebody case, out, if I, I if would... I didn't feel that that number that I just got was uh, was a bad one, I can go allow, and it will allow that number to go through the next time. You know, <laughs> yeah, and I can also well, I can time, also I know a... no, but I can also call it back. Yeah, but if you have a recording that tells it to, to go fuck themselves, and then it turns out that it was your aunt, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it, She'd understand. It's, it's pretty good at blocking. <laughs> it's pretty good at blocking spam calls. Just and have then, it say, uh, if you're a spam caller, go but fuck it will yourself. Also like, Otherwise, sorry for the misunderstanding. <laughs> but it, yeah. it also lists missed calls as well. Calls yeah. that you missed, so it, it's. Or I think for that matter. it's the best program I've found so far because all the other ones, like Haya, your phone rings and it just tells you it's a, it's a, you know. Well, you it, can tell it to block on Haya, but, but or you can pay uh, no, no, uh, more no, money. No, you to can, get don't the bother. I, I did the paid. I did the paid Haya. I don't really see a big difference. I don't either. Really? I don't either. Yes. And and you you can block it, but only after the fact. And no no. Uh, uh, what do you call it? robocaller company is going to use the same number twice? Of now, course, you know how Trump can get. You know how Trump can guarantee his reelection by stopping spam callers. You know what? You're right. Can I say something? What? <laughs> I was just going to say. Um, you're right, Phil. He he might even actually get my vote if he actually went you, through with this. Brian, do you know? Do you know why we have spam callers? Well, let me finish first. You my can only use Trump. that one number once. Yeah. Otherwise, we're gonna find the fucking shit out of you if you try to use yeah. if you try to use. No, but you see, here's the thing: you don't get, but you don't understand this. Offshore, Brian. these yeah, calls offshore. are not being made from the United States. These yeah. are all offshore, but, and if they're offshore, uh, uh, so, so you find them a billion dollars. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, they, they, come, who, Alex, the the regulation that Trump. Uh, took, your ass. took, took, took your off. Ass. It was an Obama regulation that stopped these robocallers. It, it, the robocallers have increased like tenfold since this one particular regulation was eliminated. And uh, and now and who was it eliminated uh, by? It, Trump eliminated it. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and so we. That's why you're getting more robocalls. Yes. Well, then fuck Trump the again. Number... Fuck Trump. Huh? Fuck Trump. Well, yeah, but he's he. It's true. He's the guy that uh, eliminated a, the uh, the thing that Obama put in there that's that limited or reduced those robocalls. But the reason that we're getting more today, unfortunately, is my hero Trump uh, uh, eliminated a piece of regulation that uh, allowed this to 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 happen. But on the other hand, if he went ahead well, and he I, I, enacted you know, I that did, regulation I did, uh, again, yeah, I did. I did uh, uh, give my props to to Trump today for yeah, this, I heard. for this legislation, this uh, prison reform legislation, which I'm sure he's doing for self serving purposes. Because when yes, he is there, course. he's going to have it. It's going to be nicer. Kim Kardashian <laughs> asked him to start looking into that stuff. You think Kim could ask him to eliminate the robocalls? Phil, so when when he when he released that regulation, he created more jobs though. Uh, just just for offshore uh, bots and Russians. Okay, but getting or back to Facebook, uh, getting back to Facebook, the only thing I feel Indians. guilty about is I have about five thousand people that that uh, are subscribers to my page. Okay, yep, to yep. my my Facebook page, and I more feel than anybody else here. I'm well, sure. I feel that maybe I'm putting them in harm's way by by doing what I'm doing. 
What do you mean? By drawing them to Facebook and drawing them my page. Oh, and, and they wouldn't have seen you unless they were on Facebook to begin with. Yeah, I mean... You know, you it, didn't bring them there. Yeah. You yeah. make their own decisions on friending. Well, I, the not, best thing I ever did was take the show off of Facebook, live off of Facebook, and put it onto uh, YouTube. Uh, I agree with that. Which I think... Did you mute yourself, Patrick? Or did Brian mute you? No, I think he's trying to... <laughs> I think he's trying yeah. to sneeze. That's oh. why he muted himself. I do that. Yeah. It's amazing how I can see who's mute and who's not. <laughs> Coughing and <Yeah>, sneezing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jeff's got his hand up, but he's yes, in a small Jeff. bubble. Yes, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. So, uh, my financial lady uh, all of a sudden calls up the other day and says, I'm sorry to tell you, but somebody's just hacked all of our numbers. Including yours. Wow. And uh, account numbers, social security numbers, what? I don't know exactly, but uh, time for life lock. The, the nice, I mean, the nice thing is that life they lock said, well, doesn't work. First of all, we're going to compensate anything that actually goes against it for you. And the other thing is that they're working on it, but uh, I don't think we're going to lose any money. Well, it was scary as shit, right? Well, you know, I mean, it's it it, uh, it it's scary to me. I've had I've I've gotten my my uh, uh, what do you call it? my uh, identity stolen on on a couple of occasions, and it gets kind of scary. I mean, I wound up um, all of a sudden I wound up on my uh, believe it or not on my PayPal account charges to my PayPal account by somebody. Game claiming line. to be me uh, for this game site in Hong Kong. Uh, uh, and when I let PayPal know about it, they investigated yeah. it and they didn't charge me for it. They took it off. I mean, they're very good about it. But I had to change my password there. Uh, other things where I've, they've compromised my card. So I had to change my card. And the pain in the ass of that is then I have to change it with everybody that I have that card listed with as a payment. Yeah, those can automatic I, can payments. I give you my story of woe here? No, uh, I uh, well, I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have, I have a, I yeah, I have a uh, uh, my favorite uh, email address. Uh, I got I got uh, uh, sucked into answering something that uh, for uh, uh, some website that I trusted. I think it was e uh, uh, eBay, and uh, they asked me a question, and I started to give them information. It was a phishing uh, email, and it wasn't from eBay. Uh, I've learned a lot since, but that email address wound up on the dark web. Now, what happened is I ordered something from Adorama. I paid for it with PayPal, but and uh, somebody who had access to that um, uh, email tried to redirect the shipment offshore to Singapore, mm. and so I get a uh, email and a phone call from uh, uh, Adorama saying, "I'm sorry, we cannot." redirect shipments that were paid with P PayPal out of the country. And, and so, you know, then I realized that this is serious and I changed everything and stopped using that email address. And uh, because if the guy can look and see my orders mm -hmm. and then redirect them, you know, wow, you know, you can really, they can really fuck you up. I have, and, I have several email addresses, uh, Three of which, well, or three of which all resolved to one address at Apple. One of which, of course, is the GabNet account where I have uh, my GabNet.net, at GabNet.net account. And I also have a Gmail account. And I have an account in my, with this Canadian server that I'm on because it's part of the service you get it. So my question to you is, of all of these, which ones do you think I get the most spam from? Um. Uh, the, so probably the Gmail. Nope. It's got to be. It's got to be one you use a lot because that's how your nope. email address gets out there. Nope. Otherwise, if it's been on a website, they get combed. Nope. If you ever put an email address on a website, uh -huh. they have they have combers out there that go combing web pages for email addresses and stuff. Or you've signed up for things. Uh, very, Otherwise, very logical. you know what? Yep. I have an email address yeah. that I only use. Wow. I have my own domain name, right? Mm -hmm. And I only use it, but I and I but I I do not put 
any I never sign up for anything on that site, on that email address. Right. I always yeah. use my Hotmail account. Okay, okay. but here's what I do. I mm. use this, uh, uh, I, I uh, use uh, this so infrequently for things, for this, for certain things, but I found that the thing that gets the most spam mail are my Apple accounts. Really? That Apple, this wonderful company that says that they're, you know, I mean, it shows up as spam. They, they list it as spam. But nevertheless, the most spam I get comes to my Apple accounts. The, Why don't I, the you, Alex, uh, the uh, GabNet account, nothing. Nothing. You need at your alexbennett.com uh, account, you need one that's uh, spam at alexbennett.com. Uh, yeah, dot net, <laughs> dot net. I'm yeah, telling net. you. And I'm so if you, you use you, that. Oh. Well, I have that Alex Apple, That Apple ID is out there somewhere. It got sold, and that's the reason that it happens. Because I get zero, zero spam on my uh, private e email address, oh, my and I get all of my spam and a shit ton of I it. Get on my hard, I get hard. I've gotten very little spam off the Gabnet.net. Very little, if, if any. Because there's very few people that listen. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And the Gmail, I don't seem to get that much spam either. And they catch catch spam, so you can see how much spam they catch. Uh, uh, you know, I, would, I would just think that Apple would be more assiduous in their uh, in their uh, uh, going after spam and making sure it doesn't go through. And also, I get a lot of mail from phony Apple spam. Okay, and I've sent it every time I send it to Apple to let them see it. But you know, uh, I know how to I know how to see that something spam. One of the ways click on the address, right? Click on the address, and if it is an Apple, if it's somebody else, you know that it's it's certainly not. not. But anytime they ask you to click on a link to identify yourself or to resolve something, uh, that's a, it's pretty I, much that's pretty much. Spam. Somebody who's I, out there trolling. I'll tell you what the other false economy is. Uh, you know how uh, you don't get viruses on a Mac, and uh, you know you can feel pretty confident that if you click on something with your iPhone, uh, you're not going to get a virus. Well, I don't think that's going to last much longer, and maybe we're in a uh, uh, you know under a false belief that that's that that's true, and that. Uh, all of a sudden, the Apple. Well, I, I think uh, I think you're wrong about that, Phil. I think the reason why Mac doesn't get uh, hacked as much as, uh, say, PCs is because Mac only uh, amounts to about eight percent of the marketplace out can there. Can you while say PCs, that about the iOS wait a minute, wait a minute, uh, for wait a minute. the iPhone? Oh, uh, absolutely, the iPhone is not the number one. Uh, it's fifty uh, percent of no, the market. No, it is not. No, it is no, not. You, you want to know the real reason why you don't why there's no viruses on on uh, Apple products? It's because it's a closed system, yeah. and Apple tightly protects it with a, with with uh, PCs with um, Linux. But also, if you're yeah, going to if you're going to if you they're gonna... open and anybody can write for them, you can't write a, a a program for iOS without getting it approved by Apple. Wow. You could submit it to them. They've got to approve it. Yes, but it's, you know, but you do know what the core of uh, of of Mac computers is. It's Linux. Yeah, it's, it's, Unix. It's, it's Unix. It's Unix. Unix so, which is Linux, yeah. but, which is a secure environment. You need to put in passwords in order to do anything well, like a Linux, super user. But all I, I'm I saying Linux is one of the reasons. One uh, another open reason source. why is that if you're going to write something, it's going to hack somebody. You're gonna you're gonna do it to the most possible computers you can do it to, and that would be the PC mark, you know. Well, it's also the easiest mark because because Windows is not very secure. Well, it's, it's yeah, the well, least secure operating system out there. If the, people think that they can't be hacked on a on a Mac or a uh, iPhone, that's only going to open what, no, up no, uh, what, somebody to hack them. But, Let me tell you, there are more iPhones out there than there are everything else. There are, and yeah, there's a ton of iPhones. It's I, fifty Alex fifty. Alex said the other way. No, yeah. I, well, I, I think it's, it's about less. fifty fifty. But think about it. It's Apple <laughs> versus everybody else. What I yeah, heard, and they what, make up fifty percent. Yeah, and if they could get in to hack iOS, they would do it in a heartbeat. I, they just can't. I don't think, uh, uh, from what I know, Android has the major part of that market, mainly because they are so they let people have They're their. They're cheaper. Well, they they allow people to use their their OS, whereas Apple doesn't. Well, and, and that's why and, you get and hacked. And so the only, the only, the only uh, phones that use the Apple OS are the iPhones. 
And uh, they are not the best selling in the world because all these other people are making Androids. You know, that's why it's a smaller share of the market. Now, if you were to say- Not any, really a smaller no, share, it's about were, 50% it, of it, the share. No, I think it's maybe 50. It, it, I don't think, it, I'm going to check. Total smartphones. I'm iOS devices, they say, are about 50%. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. When you, okay. when you think about yeah, that, that's pretty incredible. Yeah. That, you know, and that's it, what and I it's thought. A, and Rob, it's, I, and, I agree. And you can you can yes. hijack them or what do they call them? Jailbreak them? Yeah. And then you're on your own. But if you don't jailbreak your phone, it's really hard to break a Mac It's or a, an iOS device. It's really hard to get in and do damage to it. Okay, this was what, what if it's somebody that was working at Apple that sabotages? It? Well, that's a you know, you know, I, I mean, it happens. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, wait a minute, hold on a second. I'm trying to oh. see. Uh, Android um, smartphone OS sales in Germany. Let me go USA. Okay, Android 68.5 percent, iOS 29.3. Windows one point six. Wait a others, minute. Point is six. that is that is that total usage or is that or, or is that just like sales. last year's sales or whatever? That was uh, that was in May of oh sixteen. Let's go to May of seventeen. Sixty four point eight percent for Android, iOS uh, uh, thirty four percent, Windows one point one and other point uh, zero point one, and that's in that's in the United States. Uh, in China, Android is 80% and iOS is only 19%. There, That's still a lot of people. No, it's still a know? lot of people, but I'm saying it's not quite the share you would think it is. However, as a singular brand, it has a huge share of the market. Okay? Yeah. Because Samsung has a little bit, and uh, how many other companies are there? Uh, uh, you know who, uh, that other Chinese company they won't let come into the states. It starts with an H. I, uh, yeah. Way, way, way. Yeah. 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 My mother loves Chinese food. What? My mother loves Chinese food. Chinks. Your mother I, I, loves Chinese I, food. Where did that come from? We're talking about the Chinese market. Know, We're talking about Chinese China. food. Gee, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's good to have a whole mellow. Do Chinese people mind you calling it chinks? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. I just, you I just think want... they know? <laughs> they don't even eat their own food. They eat yeah, them. yeah, they say, oh, yeah, chinks. Wonderful to begin column with, a, to begin with column B. it should have that name in America because I've, in China, they eaten Chinese food, and what you get in America is not Chinese food. He's right. You're right about that, Alex. They don't eat that, right? That's and like, I, and I don't want to eat what they give you in China. Oh, but oh, what I they give you the in China thing. is exquisite, Phil. Yeah, you don't know what it is. It, you know, I, I watched that uh, the guy that committed suicide show, the traveling oh, yeah. guy. Oh what, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. You know, I see some of the things he eats. No way. <laughs> you know, way. Hello. Yeah, a Burdine. Yeah. Burdine. He's not eating anything. Yeah, you know. He goes to some of these restaurants, you know, where he's eating the yeah. local stuff. Oh man, you know. Ne next time I want to eat my knuckles, uh, you know, I'll I'll go to China. What you don't like fried puppy? Uh, well, yeah, I do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, but uh, all I'm saying is, is that uh, you know, I I I was just surprised that I get as much uh, spoofing and so on 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 my Apple account more than any other account that I have. Yeah. And you would think they would be the one that would be like really nailing it down and, you know, uh, and, and they really aren't. You know, I can't even remember how I got my Apple accounts. I think it was when I got my iPhone, an Apple account came with it. Yeah, yeah well, you have to uh, sign up for, for an ID so you can activate yeah. your products and stuff. It's part of their yeah. part of their stuff. But they also now, give you. They I'm also give. They also phone. give you. They also I give use you. The, I use my Hotmail account for Apple. My, yeah. my 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 Apple ID is a Hotmail account. Right. I yeah, don't have yeah. an Apple account. Okay, I'm looking at my Apple account now. You know, because you can go on the phone and you can just look at one. Well, I, when I first one, got it, it was a dot Mac account. Uh, uh, at at well, Mac they, account, they then it became, then, then it was a me, and now yeah. it's right. an iCloud. Right. But I have both. They for some uh, reason. Or no, cloud, cloud is it animals. iCloud or cloud.com? Cloud.com. I, I think it's iCloud. I think it's cloud. Uh, but I, you know, 
anything anything that I'm being sent uh, uh, on this is something that I have actually made an effort to contact and then wish I didn't anymore. But uh, you that's know, what every- I mean. It's when you use that address somewhere, you you wind up on a list. And, and everything that you think is free, it's not free. That means they're selling your information. Well, yeah, I, I use they're it. selling lists. Yeah. Well, no, the, these are people that I may have made an, an inquiry. For instance, Moo is a company that makes high-end business cards. So I said, okay, yeah, send me the sample pack. They sent me the sample pack, and now I'm getting uh, emails uh, from them. Uh, it's not that they did, you know, that I, I contacted them. And now they, they well, own just my, go to the bottom, uh, just go you know, to they the have my address. Do you go, to, just keep do you go to the bottom of the share. letter and go unsubscribe? Uh, well, I guess I could do that. Yes, you could do that. You can. Sometimes <laughs> it doesn't work, though. Yeah. It won't hurt. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, 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 yes, I yes, at, Jeff, <clears throat> Jeff, Jeff. I find people, uh, when I go into any kind of office or, whatever, or a business, they always want to know what your telephone number is now, your cell phone number. And I think that's uh, another way yeah, yeah. of yeah. sharing information. Well, if yeah. I if I if I want to sign up for something and I don't want to uh, uh, tip my hat, I'll usually use the Gmail account because I don't use it for anything except that. Okay, and if I have a real business thing like my bank or whatever, that's my Apple account. I do my Apple account through that. And then I do my uh, at gabnet.net account for um, uh, just general stuff, sending letters to people and so on and so forth. And I find that that one has hardly been compromised at all. I've got no yeah. spam letters using the dot, uh, gabnet.net address. How many mm-hmm. times do you sign up as a gabnet.net a lot. on any a, website? A, a lot. Really? Yes. That's surprising because usually that's the way they get you. I use that because I can always change it from, uh, well, I'll say what it is, Alex at Gabnet.net. I can always change it to, you know, AB or anything I want to. I can ha- make up other accounts, and I can use those instead. You, know? you don't use your Gmail account anymore? No. You know why? It's a, because by the time you sign up for a Gmail account, they have every permutation of a name you want. So then yeah, you've got already to, taken. Then you've got to have it like A. Bennett 21 million. <laughs> A B C Q. Yeah, well, I mean, I have one. I have one account. I have my FiOS account. Is is, and I can change it if I want to. the The username is the address at at uh, Gmail because that's what I had at the time. See, here's the other thing, and this is the one that really bothers me, and it should bother all of you listening to me right now, and that is. How many times have you decided, well, I don't want uh, local Spectrum as my cable company anymore. I'm going over to Fios. And, of course, Fios doesn't have email, all right, to begin with, and you lose that Spectrum address. I had uh, uh, Alex uh, or, or A. Bennett at nyc.rr.com for 10 years, okay? Mm-hmm. And when I quit, Roadrunner here in New York, when I quit Time Warner and went over to Fios, I lost that address immediately. Can you still receive emails nope. on it? Like no. My Comcast, no, no, you no. can't. My Comcast, when I went over to Wave, uh, I, I lost the ability to send oh. emails on my Comcast I didn't, account. I didn't get it either. It, it, you it, can't, they it, can't do it. It's a physical impossibility. I've but I, I'm, still, I'm still receiving I've managed corporate. Well, I don't know how that is. They they haven't shut it down. I understand why they won't let you send it, but usually when you go, they they delete your account. Mm-hmm. I mean, they have to do that. They can't let accounts go in perpetuity like but, that. But they're managing but, systems that all lives on a server somewhere. They, Those are all yeah. But if they had given me the option to pay them, say five dollars a month to keep the address, oh, well, that's different. They, and there should be a law to that effect, that they have to give you the opportunity to keep the address for a reasonable price. Um, well, maybe Trump will put that regulation in. No, but that, that that should be a law. Get because, rid of regulation. Because it's not going to add. This is why so many people have Gmail accounts and Hotmail accounts. Is Absolutely. Be, is because they don't want to, they, they want an address they're never going to lose. That's exactly right. Do you remember when Gmail first came out, they had to invite you? 
to to sign up for it? No. Yeah, yeah. When it was before they went public, and you know, when, probably when, the servers were too small to accept, so they had to invite you. Yeah. You got to. You probably signed up, and you waited. They waited to have enough. Uh, bandwidth and, to be and able you know to what you know what's kind of interesting oh. i just thought about it if i stop having an iphone would they still allow me to keep having my email address at apple yes I, they yes, would yes oh okay. once you get it it's yours oh okay all right then that that that's a, that's a safe bet that one but you know i mean every, i had that uh, that uh, address you have a, a series uh hmm? name what were you on series Serious? serious. I had yeah. a serious address at one point. I did point. too. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, that when you're that's a corporate account. Yeah. That's the you know. Yeah. As soon as that the, mi- gone, the minute I the minute account. the minute they got my badge and I was down in the lobby, it it disappeared. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They I lock mean, it. And... They also turned my fucking radio off. Those assholes. Well, I had mine that's for what three I love years. The hmm? company that I work for. But let me stand up here for a Game minute. Lock. Let me stand up for a minute. My watch told me to stand up. And I have to do what my watch says. Hey, you're a stand-up guy. Yeah. R- right, Mickey? <laughs> it's 11.50. Good night, pal. <laughs> Good night, pal. Let me see here. Okay, I'm standing up. Are you, are you, uh, are you uh, going to uh, d- d- do the thing here? Hold on a second. Let me see my activity today. Uh, no, I haven't closed the blue ring yet. You know? Oh, well. Did they make a mousetrap app for that thing? What do you mean a mousetrap app? Exactly what I said. Oh, oh to, to get Mickey? Yeah. yeah well, to shut him the fuck up. Actually, I have Mickey. Girlfriend has uh, Minnie. Uh, because mm-hmm. Minnie, she feels, sounds Ask cuter. You. I'll let you be the judge. It's 11.51. Good night. <laughs> How presumptuous to think it's time to go to sleep. I know. I know. But Mickey already said uh, good night. It's 11. You sure that Minnie doesn't say something like "Stop touching me there"? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Perverted Mickey. I wonder if there's a reason why Minnie wants to go to sleep before Mickey does, though, since she's the one who said good night first. Yeah. So anyway, I haven't said anything about uh, much about Trump tonight. So fuck him. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and Phil. I will say I I will say I was surprised to know that that. Uh, Los Angeles uh, public bank initiative that got voted down, a public bank that's been in existence in this country since 1916, however, to my surprise, Public Public Bank of North Dakota. Hmm. North What's Dakota has to... a public bank and has had a public bank for 102 years. Wow, how nice. North by the, Dakota. By the, by the way, the big well, flag. If you're in North Dakota, they didn't realize that they had one because it's so cold there. You know. The big flap here in New York City right now is uh, six sold. inches of snow. No, yeah. besides that, uh, 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 Amazon uh, and their yeah. headquarters here, or so-called headquarters. Uh, there is so much protest against that yeah. uh, because of the, 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 the also because of the impact uh, uh, in uh, in the area. I mean, God knows that you know we have enough. Gridlock as it is already. Is Lex Luthor is disgusting. I saw uh, an article in a Tennessee paper yesterday <laughs> that said that they're opening up a uh, uh, an Amazon uh, uh, place there, hiring I think nine thousand people. Uh, I, Alex, on the snow front, uh, if you look out your window, you can see the street. Are the cars all stuck there like they no, show no, on no, TV? No, 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 no. They actually the snow melted pretty much. Today. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful uh, uh, day uh, with all kinds of sun. The, the, yeah. the news, the news was, all... was showing cars stranded all over oh, yeah, the place. Yeah, no, no, it buses. Was, I had my my friend down. Walter Sterling Sabo was here last night staying. He had to go to this uh, Hall of Fame Radio Hall of Fame dinner, and yeah. uh, it was after the snow, and he had a hard time getting down there. He said it took him two hours to get downtown. Yeah, uh, yeah, they're showing pictures. And, and there, there, were, so there, there were trees that had fallen in the street and so on. I mean, it was really, it was, the, the impact was really quite horrible. It was one of the, it, it was a real snowstorm this early 
It, in de fact, Blasio was on TV tonight saying that uh, they they didn't get the snow plows out early enough, and uh, they had a third of the plows out, and they never expected this much snow. They, they only expected about an inch, Same and they down got here. Th- I got seven, really? and they got six inches. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. It was it was uh, it was a clusterfuck here, yeah. Um, yeah. and uh, uh, it, it, it was amazing. I've never I you know this early getting and usually New York City gets maybe one or two big storms a year to get something this early that mm-hmm. much was pretty amazing. Yeah. But, Think of all the rain we had this summer. If we have a winter yeah. like that, we are yeah. screwed. But then it rained. Well, they said it rained, that the El Nino, it rained last uh, night. It rained last night, and it uh, it also uh, um, was sunny today uh, and above above uh, freezing. So uh, the snow was pretty much melting. Then the news people are saying because of the El Nino that's off of Peru, it's causing colder weather to get into the atmosphere and uh that's what's that's what's causing these uh uh these yeah, but of know, course the storms. forest fires are the fault of california you know yeah well it's terrible here everybody's <laughs> walking around in a mask uh even my warehouseman's wearing a, one of those type 95 masks and uh it's you look when, at the when, sky when, it's when, totally when there's, dark when there's, a, when there's a, a fire like this and you have to wear masks what do robbers bank robbers wear uh, yeah, they wear the same mask. Oh, I see. Okay, uh, but uh, but they uh, they put a little mustache on it. <laughs> yeah, I, I just you know I just yeah, Trump's actually coming out here tomorrow too. He's yeah. coming out. Yeah, he's well, actually getting on the plane and coming out. You hear here. that, Brian? It's one of you. Yeah, but uh. he won't get off the plane. <laughs> he won't get off the plane if it's raining. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Not. <laughs> It makes it'll mess up his hair. Well, so. you know, I, I, you have to admit it. We don't know this for a fact, but I'm beginning to think after that f- gaffe in uh, in uh, Europe that maybe our president is water soluble. Uh, you know, I'm melting. I'm melting. I'm melting. <laughs> wet, wet, wet. You know, I, you know what they said about the thing in Europe was that there was no visibility for the helicopter and that they couldn't make the appearance after that. Uh, if they drove, and so uh, that, that's why they decided uh, to change Phil, the schedule. Phil, 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 look at look look at uh, look at Brian and I. Bullshit. Look at Brian and I. Okay, he's brushing his teeth. Oh, <laughs> I see. Is that what he's doing? Yeah, I'm using my largest finger to do that too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as a toothbrush. Nice. Extra sensitive. I Patrick, thought he represented us very poorly in that situation. Yes, Patrick, quickly, you've got a minute here before we play the theme. Trump is a pussy when it comes to rain. <laughs> I don't give a shit what excuse was given. Yeah. There is fucking excuse, period. Yes. Just like people that don't vote because it's fucking rain, but they'll still go out to dinner on the same day that it's raining, but they won't vote. Trump is a pussy. He's a fucking wuss. He needs to grow a pair and go out in the rain like the rest of the people. Period. Even if his orange makeup gets washed off. Yes, yeah. exactly. Just run some makeup. Yeah. Women have their mascara run. Maybe he can get orange that doesn't run. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> yeah. Unlike his poll numbers. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> let, me, let me start playing the theme a little bit. Well, you know... What did we learn tonight? Nothing. Absolutely but we got some not. good promos, didn't we, Rob? We did. I will uh, put the whole show tonight up in the uh, box. When, just pull it off and so there's, it's not in the box once you get it. Got all okay? kinds of shit okay. to work with. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, you got all you, kinds of You can of make shit. a commercial. Do you have bleeding feet? Listen to one of our listeners. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what? What's your problem? Listen, <clears throat> listen, to, uh, listen to Patrick and his You source. think life's tough? Listen to this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I? What, the thing I like best about this show is I am, as you know, a hypochondriac, and after listening to you guys, I feel very healthy. I feel pretty good. Yeah, yeah. don't you feel great, uh, Jeff? And he's he's a he's got a fi- fucking robotics inside him. Uh, yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's about it for tonight, folks. Uh, uh, and I thank uh, Phil and uh, Patrick. And Rob and uh, 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 Anthony and Jeff and Kevin and Brian. Give yourself a a big wave goodbye to our audience. 
Good night, guys. We'll see you next week. By the way, short week next week. Uh, we're going to be here on uh, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, but not Thursday and Friday. Why? Well, because it happens to be Thanksgiving, and I'm giving the entire bunch of people here the night off, most especially me, okay? Anyway, that's it for our program. Jack Bishop is next with the intersection. That's followed at 1 o'clock in the morning by... Uh, uh, connections coming out of Florida. And then uh, next uh, Tuesday, we'll be back on again at 9.30 with uh, uh, Damian Chaplin and the exchange. And then, of course, I'll be here at 10 o'clock, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.